it's time to give the good old trusty client alert an upgrade. Hi everyone, my name is Wayne Pollock. I'm an attorney, helps other attorneys engage the audiences that are vital to their firm's success, including their clients, their referral sources, their employees, and the media. In this video, five reasons why you should consider upgrading your client alerts. Uh, now, perhaps more than ever, there is a flood of client alerts that are being published by law firms across the world and going to uh, their current and prospective clients and referral sources. If you're on the receiving end, of these client alerts, then you are seeing a lot of the same content, many of the same cases, many of the same issues are being discussed because many of these law firms compete on um, the same areas of practice and are targeting the same kinds of clients. So as a law firm trying to connect with would-be clients, current clients, would-be and current uh, referral sources, you are entering a jam-packed market with content. Now, you've hear, heard me preach before the importance of content marketing, of thought leadership content, marketing and business development content. You have to keep pumping up the content. But there are times where you can publish content a little bit different than what your competitors and what the mass um, is publishing, and that might actually work to your uh, favor. So I want to talk to you about five reasons why I think you might want to consider multimedia client alerts as opposed to the traditional written client alerts. Uh, one, uh, they're more convenient for your end user, your client, your referral source to um, consume. They are going to be able to consume uh, a podcast version of a client alert whenever uh, they are uh, out and about. They could do it in their car, on a walk, on the train. Um, they're not tied to their phone scrolling uh, or a computer screen scrolling. Same thing with video. They can watch a video um, in a different location than in their office. They can watch it on the go in the same places almost uh, where they can listen to um, a podcast. So using a multimedia client alert helps you create a more uh, conveniently consumed uh, client alert, which of course is the, is the goal of our content, is to have it consumed by the people we want it to be consumed by. Um, number two, it helps you stand out. A multimedia client alert is different than a written client alert, obviously, uh, and very, very few law, law firms are actually using multimedia client alerts, which gives you an opening. You, uh, by using a podcast or an audio or a video client alert, you stand out automatically from the mass and you suggest that you are innovative, at least with your marketing, which might mean that you're innovative with how you tackle legal problems problems and business problems for clients, which of course is a benefit to you and helps you stand apart from your competitors. Um, number three, it creates a personal connection. Uh, look, you can have an informal style when you write a client alert or a blog post, and that helps build a personal connection between um, you and your readers. But having a video like this where someone can see me, you can see me, you can hear me, you can see, you can hear my inflections, you can see my mannerisms, that comes across as helping to build a personal connection. We're staring at each other on the screen. Same thing happens when you watch someone else's video. Same thing happens when you are listening to a podcast. You get a chance to hear someone talk um, their voice, their, their tone, maybe some sarcasm, uh, you get a little bit more of a personal connection than simply writing their spoken word. Now, of course, we're talking about client alerts, so it's not like you're gonna have 10 minute riffs uh, that resemble stand-up comedy routines in these podcasts, but at least you know an offhand comment or a reference to someone's family or personal life, that could help build a connection in a way that a written client alert might not be able to. Number four, multimedia client alerts aren't as formal as written client alerts. You're not obsessing over punctuation, over consistency of acronyms, over consistency of references, over footnotes. You can just talk and explain the situation, explain the case decision or the proposed legislation or the impact of an administrative agency action. You are more free to talk uh, through the content and the topic as opposed to obsessing over how you're going to structure the style, uh, the grammar, the punctuation. Um, there are people who love to do that with your writing and I typically tend to be one of them, but it is more uh, freeing, it's more liberating to be able just to have a conversation uh, into the camera or on um, a podcast that is less structured than a traditionally written, you know, 1,000 word, 1,500 word client alert from a law firm. Number five, multimedia content is more shareable on social media and thus allows you to get more bang for your buck in terms of reaching more people. Uh, when it comes to social media, people like video, they like audio, they don't want to read words. If your clients, your would-be clients, your, your would-be and current referral sources are scrolling through their social media feeds and they see your content, your firm's content, the video, the audio, they're more likely to stop and consume it as opposed to just scrolling through a, a, a post that has a link to 
to your uh, blog, your written blog, or your written client alert that's on your website. You are more likely to get engagement or at least to get more eyeballs on that content because it's coming alive off the page. It's not just written. Uh, and again, it stands out from other competitors. Uh, one con that I know you might be thinking is, well, isn't it more expensive to create this video content, to create audio content, to um, create multimedia client alerts over simply just writing out client alerts? Now, Technically, yeah, there's more resources required. You have a video, you're gonna have audio, you're gonna have, have, you're gonna have to have people uh, edit it perhaps, uh, package it up nicely, publish it. Yes, that's much more involved than simply writing a document on Word, Microsoft Word, and then publishing it with the help of your colleagues. But the fact of the matter is, in this day and age, technology is cheap. Um, this video is being recorded in 4K on an iPhone uh, 12 mini. Um, this is a I don't know, a $15 microphone right here, um, my uh, lapel mic. Um, if you wanted to upgrade to a nice microphone for audio recording, it's probably gonna cost you a hundred bucks. Uh, lights for video like this can might cost you 50 to 100 bucks. It's not a huge investment. Uh, many law firms are already doing podcasts or some videos anyway. You can just reuse the equipment for client alerts as opposed to longer form videos or longer form FAQs or whatever um, your law firm is using your audio and video equipment for. Client alerts are fantastic. They are a key part of content marketing and thought leadership marketing for lawyers and law firms, but they need not only be written. I encourage you and your colleagues to explore multimedia client alerts. Try them out for a bit, try them out for a month or two, see how they feel, see if they're resonating with your audience, see what kind of feedback you're getting. Do you and your colleagues enjoy this more? Are you more productive? Are you more prolific? Because you don't have to sit down and spend four or five hours writing blog posts and client alerts. You can always turn them off. You can always stop doing them. But I would encourage you to at least experiment with them because you never know just how effective and powerful they might be considering so few other lawyers and law firms are using multimedia client alerts today. For more information about how to build your book of business through marketing and business development content, check out lawfirmedgehillservice.com. We have plenty of blogs and videos that can help you do just that.